Hi guys, I am the Tax Pro, and today we are going to talk about refunds in QuickBooks Online. So we have two different ways that we can show refunds to customers. Um, so if we have a customer and let's say that they had purchased something from us and it had something wrong with it or they return it, um, we have a couple of different ways we can handle this. So I like to come to the plus new button here and we can either do a refund receipt or a credit memo. So when it comes to a credit memo, what we're doing here is we are issuing a credit to that client's account. Okay, so we're not actually refunding them money at the time of the return or when they find a default with the product. We are going to credit an amount to their actual account. They're never going to see the cash unless they ask for us to issue them a credit or pay out the credit. Um, instead, we're going to have a credit sitting on their account. For example, um, maybe they have you know $100 worth of charges for the month and then they're going to apply this credit memo of $50. At the end of the month, they're going to owe us $50, right? So the credit memo can be applied to future invoices for these customers. Um, whereas a refund receipt, we are actually going to go ahead and refund them money. We're actually going to take money and give it to the customer. Um, so could be because they're returning something or maybe there was a defect. Same thing with the credit memo, except with the refund receipt, we are actually going to write them a check or maybe we've um, issued a refund to their card. Whatever the situation may be, we are actually going to see money going out with a refund receipt, okay? So a credit memo and a refund receipt are very similar. The difference is with a credit memo, you're not actually having cash or money come out of an account. You're not reimbursing the client financially. You're going to give them this credit that they can then apply to an invoice at a later date. Okay, so you're not immediately providing that financial reimbursement. You are going to allow them to apply a credit memo to an invoice later down the road. Whereas with a refund receipt, you are going to be immediately refunding them financially. Okay, they're going to get that cash or um, uh, money back on their card, however you're refunding them. So why would we use one or the other? Let's talk about in business, why would you issue a credit memo instead of providing them a direct refund? Credit memos are generally seen if you have a customer that has terms with you um, and perhaps they charge in, uh, invoices throughout the month. So they're going to be ordering from you and maybe you have an arrangement where, you know, they charge items throughout August and then by the end of September, you expect them to pay August balance, right? So they'll order a couple of times throughout August. At the end of August, maybe you send them a statement and you say, this is what you owe us. Um, please pay this, you know, August activity by the end of September. And so there's a lot of businesses that do that with their customers. If you happen to do that, a credit memo is probably going to be far more appropriate than a refund receipt because they're just going to take that credit memo and apply it against an invoice. It doesn't really make sense for you to send them cash for the refund when you're not seeing that cash from their orders right away. Okay. Now you may have a situation where a customer has terms with a business and they generally, you know, will order items and then get credit memos, but perhaps they have a credit memo sitting on their account and they just haven't ordered from that vendor in a while. Then that vendor may go ahead and refund them cash. Um, so generally credit memos you see with uh, businesses who have customers they provide terms to. A refund receipt is going to be more that particular customer doesn't have terms or it could possibly be that this was a large refund um, compared to the balance that they generally carry on their account. And so you're going to go ahead and refund that amount uh, versus letting it sit as a credit memo because it may take, you know, six months or a year before they reach the balance on that credit memo. And so that's the difference between a credit memo and a refund receipt. And I will see you guys next time.